In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your action camera to your laptop. That's going to be an interesting thing to think about. Action cameras, it can be even normal cameras. So for example, if you've got like a Canon, a DSLR, how do you connect the camera to your laptop, computer, maybe even a phone? Shall we try phone? Could do on the phone as well. I can show you in this video. I'll put chapters down for each section. We're going to cover quite a few important things that you need to consider because it's not as easy as just plugging it in. Sometimes it can be very difficult. I've already done a little uh, overview on the cables that you need. So let's first look at the actual cables and how important the cables will be for you. I'm, I've got a bunch of cables here. Why do I have a bunch of cables? Firstly, if it doesn't work, majority of the times, it's going to be the cable. So firstly, get yourself a good quality cable. I'll put links in the description. I'm not sponsored by these guys. I've just put data cables there. Uh, look for the ones that do have data cables so you can transfer files. Some of them are designed just for charging. So a lot of these cheaper cameras come with like basic cables and they're designed just to charge the camera. There's no like extra, there's normally teeth inside the USB port. You can normally see inside and they have extra teeth for transferring data so more cables basically keep that in mind so here we've got a number of cables that's for the iphone I, iphone that is a type c that's definitely a data transfer cable so you can transfer files and i've got a bunch of other cables here which did not work for me for transferring that's why i know cables are very important so make sure you've got the right cable for your requirement I did a video a while back where I explained the different types of cables you would need. So for example, something like this needs like a, a mini USB. You've got micro USB. You've got uh, type C. A lot of the newer cameras are starting to come with type C now. So hopefully it's a bit easier. So cables are very important. Transfer files, photos, videos straight over. So, so let's have a quick look at this and explain what you need to do. So by the end of this video, you will know how to connect the camera to your computer, laptop, transfer files, even possibly use it as a webcam, wired webcam, because that'd be a good thing to think about the cables. So you'll see I've got a bunch of cables here. And the reason I've got a bunch of cables is I've got old cameras, I've got new cameras, and everything has its own connection. Because older cameras have different types of connections, you want the right cable. So keep in mind, there's loads of cables out there. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. So just go on Amazon, find a data transfer cable. What does that even mean? So with data transfer cables, they're designed to transfer information from one thing to another. For example, if this cable plugs into like your computer, USB port, and that plugs into your phone, it's designed to transfer data. Some of them, cameras even the cheap ones they give you a free cable but that's designed to charge the battery so it's more like a charging cable as opposed to transferring so the main point is i'm hammering this home because i've done a couple of videos about making cameras and using them on your computers a lot of people have said it's not worked and the first thing i would say is check your cable you'll be surprised by changing the cable or trying a different cable it's happened to me so i know i, I put a cable in and it's like what, what's going on why is it not doing it and i started looking at the camera, started looking at the camera, uh, the computer, but then I just got another cable, randomly put it in. I was like, oh my God, it was that easy. So some of the cables are basically rubbish. So that's why it's worth paying a couple of pounds, dollars extra to get like a decent cable. I'm um, really looking at here about what, $8, $9. If you get a set of, of two pack is like 12, uh, $7. So these are date. What I did search here is data transfer cable, not just the cable i will put links in the description so you can check out what i'm looking at on screen so it helps you on your journey so basically number one was cables make sure you've got the right one let's keep one cable behind let's get rid of those now what happens next well i've got i might even show you on the mobile phone some people have laptops some people have mobile phones you might have like different types of cameras as well i've stopped using this camera as a webcam quite a few years ago because i was plugging it to my computer it's glitching out loads of stuff now camera number two that's like an ape man they don't make them anymore not a great camera uh, that's another one there i've slowly over the years progressed in terms of quality so these action cameras don't keep up with the type of quality i'm looking for now however if you're starting out doing some family videos just memories they're perfectly fine 
I would probably even use your mobile phone. It would probably be better quality than this. However, action cameras are designed for, obviously, action. That's a bit of a tangent there. Here's a cable that I know allows data transfer. So I did a video explaining all different types of cables as well. So you can have a look at that. This is a micro USB cable. Sorry for the noise. Okay, here, come on. So plugged in the camera. Also, on some cameras, it's worth pointing out, you may have to take the memory card out if you want it to be used as a webcam. But we're looking to connect the camera to transfer files. So make sure your memory card is in the camera. Like silly things like that sometimes catch you out. So if the memory card's in there, you're basically going to transfer those files. And if the batteries are charged, that'll be good. Sometimes some cameras, if the batteries are dead, it won't let you transfer files as well. I've experienced that. This one still allows it because it powers wire the cable and transfers wire the cable. So now that's the cable that's plugging in the camera. You see that's micro. You're going to have this one, which is HDMI and USB. But the USB is like a, a type C. So I've just thrown my cables on the floor, but you could plug a type C cable into there. Again, I did a guide about all the sizes of cables, so keep an eye on that. Okay, we'll wobble. You'll see it connect into place. So next up, we're going to open up the laptop, plug in the USB cable. You'll see the cable can just plug straight in. Can't see that there. Plug the USB in. Turn your computer on. I will take you to my screen next. On some cameras, it's going to give you a menu in the back of the camera when it's plugged in. It's saying SD plug out. Are you sure? Enter PC camera mode. So that's PC camera. So I do cancel. I don't want to go into camera mode because webcam will initiate you like a webcam mode, which we don't want. So let's go back to my screen. First thing to do is go into your computer. Now this is Windows. So if you're on a Mac, I'm sorry. And you can then when you connected it and you've got on the computer, you'll get a removable drive. You can pick up the files off the removable drive. And then that means the camera folders have transferred over your computer. So it's nice and easy to transfer those files. You can use this on a laptop, on a computer. You could even plug it into your mobile phone if you wanted to and transfer it like that because the computer laptop would replace the, the phone as in you be connected to the phone instead of the laptop or the computer. So that's a quick overview of how to connect it. You can open it into File Explorer. This conclusion to summarize the key points here is make sure your cables are good and make sure you've got the right camera that allows you to transfer files. Make sure you've got power and a memory card in your camera and you would be perfectly fine. Hopefully that helps you. Here's another video here to connect your phone to your laptop or computer and how that can help you to back your phone up quicker and move files on and off your computer.